good morning in this class we are going to see programmable array logic p a m programmable array logic it is a standard architecture to implement this type of equations already we know how to design circuit for equations okay here we have three equations in first equation we have three min terms first equation we have three min terms second equation also we have three min terms and third equation it is different but purposefully i have given this as a different form okay if i explain then you can implement this type of equation as well as you can implement this type of equation it is a <coughs> standard architecture made up of three variables a b c and its complements and and gates and or gates here in pal and gates are fusible fusible means we can change the connections and or gates are fixed okay and gates are and gates fixed or or and gates are fusible and gates are fusible fusible means you can change the connection and or gates fixed or gates fixed okay you have to remember in pal now i will draw the standard architecture and then i will connect these equations how we can design pal for this particular equation here a variable it is a seems to be a lengthy diagram but if you <coughs> carefully watch it is a very simple one okay seems to be complicated but it is a very simple one three variables and its complements three variable and its complements a b c okay now here <coughs> to connect these variables nine and gates are there okay nine and gates are there and gates are there okay now this nine and gates can be connected to this abc variable now you connect like this one connect earlier we have connected <coughs> and gate two inputs three inputs like this here it is an architecture therefore if you draw single line then it can be connected to Two to three variables. Okay. Now we are in advanced stage. Therefore, no need to go for two to three inputs connection. Okay. Now <clears throat> here, if you make a cross means, if you make a cross like this, then it is called fusible. Fusible means you can connect anywhere else. Therefore, all the standard architecture will be in the crossed form. All will be in a crossed form like this but here i am not putting the crosses okay just i am mentioning here it is crossed okay because we are going to design therefore it is not necessary to put crosses here now how to do this how to implement this in this equation three equations in the three equations these gates are or these terms are and gates and three and that is products are odd therefore 
we require AND gate as well as OR gate. We require AND gate as well as OR gate. In this PIL, in this PIL, first three AND gates are first three AND gates are connected to one OR gate. First and three AND gates are connected to first three. Okay, this OR gate. That means here you have to make a fixed dot like this. Okay, that means this one, two, three. And gates are connected to this or gate. And the second one, okay, second or gate is connected to the next one, first three, and then four, five, six. Okay, these are all fixed. These three are fixed. And for third one, another or gate okay in this or gate this one that means seven eight nine seven eight nine and gates are connected together okay one two three are connected to the first or gate and then four five six are connected to the second one okay this one this one this one are connected to the second or gate you can mark like this okay these are all fixed these are all fixed you can mark here also these are all fixed okay here this one that means here it is seven eight nine okay these three and gates are connected to this this one or gate. Now for three equations, for three equations, you can implement. How to implement this? Already we know. First one is a b bar c. It is a product term. It is a product term. Therefore, if you put a cross here, if you put a cross here, that means this variable is connected to this and gate. This variable is connected to the and gate and here a is connected and then b bar therefore b bar is now connected and c now c okay now this and gates is a b bar c okay understand this variable i have taken and i have connected for this and gate through this and gate okay a is a terminal is connected and B bar is there, B bar is connected, and C is there, C is connected. Now I have written the product here. And take the second term. Second term is A complement or A bar, B and C bar. Okay. A complement means now this is A complement. Okay. This is A and this is not get through. Therefore, it is A complement and B. Therefore, this is B and C bar. This is C bar. Now, these three variables, A bar, B, C bar are connected. Therefore, you are getting the product term here. And third term, ABC. Third term, ABC. You can write here, ABC. Okay. That means, A is connected and B is connected and C is connected. Okay, now all the three products are connected to the or fixed to this or gate. Therefore, now you are getting Y1 here. Now you are getting Y1 equation in the or gate. Okay, all three products are all in a fixed structure and that means it is connected to the or gate. Now you are getting the equation Y1. Now for the second one, this one is AB only. Therefore, it is connected to the 4 by 6. Y2 is connected to 4 by 6. Therefore, first one is <coughs> AB. Therefore, here you write here. This is AB. Okay. You connect A and B. 
ओके सेकेंड टर्म इज ए फॉर सी सेकेंड टर्म इज ए फॉर सी देर फोर यू कैन कनेक्ट हियर ए बॉर एंड कनेक्ट हियर ए बॉर सी थर्ड इज ए बॉर बी बॉर देर फोर हियर ए बॉर एंड बी बॉर देर फोर हियर इट इज ए बॉर एंड दिस वन इज बी बॉर ओके नाउ दिस थ्री आर कनेक्टेड टू द second or gate okay it is fixed this is fusible these and gates cannot be connected to these two these three and gates are fixed to this or gate only and 4 5 6 are fixed to this or gate only therefore these are all called fixed points now you are getting y2 here you are getting y2 here and for the third equation Here variable is given a bar b bar a b c like this. Here min terms are given. Therefore you have to find out what are all the min terms. Okay, min terms are given. Now you have to find out the min terms in terms of variables instead of number. You have to find the variables a b c or a bar b bar c like this. For this already you know gamma. Okay, and it is a three variable because maximum is Five. Therefore, three variable. Therefore, in a three variable, you have a bar, b bar, and a bar b, a b, a b bar, and here c bar c. Now, zero is given. That means zero minimum is there. Therefore, one. And here it is zero. And here it is one. Here it is zero. Four five. This is zero one two three four four five six seven. Therefore four five six seven sub zero six seven sub zero. Just I have substituted the min terms in a gamma. Now we have to go for a grouping. Okay. Now this is a one pairing. Okay. And this is another pairing. Okay. Now for this, already you know this. B bar is changing to be a bar is constant. Therefore, y three equal to a bar and this c bar, a bar, c bar. Okay. For this pair, you are having the variable this one. That is a min term for this. And here it is a vertical. Therefore, plus a. B bar, okay. Vertical column. Therefore, this variable will be for this grouping. Now, y3 equal to y3 equal to a bar c bar. Therefore, here it is. You can connect to the seven. Here it is. You can change the color. A bar c bar. A bar c bar. Okay. Now this is. A bar and this is C bar. A bar, C bar. Okay. And the second term is A B bar. Second term is A B bar. Okay. That means here A and this is B bar. Okay. Only two terms are there. Only you are having two terms. Therefore, third and it is not connected anywhere. Okay. Understand? Here in the first equation we had three equations and three AND gates are utilized. For the second equation y two three terms are there and see the difference between here. Here in a min term three variables are there. Therefore I have connected three variables. Here see only two variables are there in this product only two variables. Therefore two variables are connected and in the equation three way three min terms. In this equation, three min terms. In the third equation, we have only two min terms. Therefore, two min terms are <coughs> given in this, and it is connected to the AND gate. And third is left unconnected. Therefore, it is not connected anywhere else. But it is a fixed. Therefore, it is there. Here, output will not come. Therefore, these two products are odd here, and you are getting. Y three here. You are getting Y three here. Now this is the 
implementation of these three equations in a programmable array logic PAL. It is a standard architecture and we can implement any type of equation in this structure. Here this AND gates are fusible therefore you can connect any variable or its complement to these three AND gates and these three AND gates are connected to OR gate. This is fixed because this three is fixed to here and this is fusible. This is the structure of programmable array logic. Thank you. If you have any doubt, please drop in a comment box. Thank you.